Oh, y'all, Daydream? Yeah. That's called envisioning. It's seeing the end result that you want to see. How many of you guys know what believe is? So after you envision, you got to believe that you deserve that end result. To see that within yourself. And you got the drive, and you got every tool you need to make it. I'm here today accomplishing a lot of great things and making my kids proud. I'm Gabriel Smith Sr., AKA The Definition. My book is a self-help book based on events in my life, giving advice and techniques that I use to get to where I am today, to get through the trials and tribulations. I actually grew up in the D.C. area, didn't have a typical childhood in the inner city. I've experienced a whole lot of things that would have crushed an adult. I ended up homeless, but I actually envisioned the end result that I wanted, and I started to believe that, no, I'm gonna have that. It actually made it easier for me to walk it down and obtain it. Individuals don't always necessarily want to speak to someone about what they're feeling, but writing is a great tool. It's a sense of keeping it to yourself, but still releasing what you're feeling. I was homeless, but I wasn't gonna allow that to stop me from writing. So I've just kept writing and writing and writing. And 30 days after I started, I had a book. I bought the domain first, and then I actually built my website while I was at work on my phone. I went with GoDaddy because of the simplicity. They, they had everything I wanted, and the tools that they offer actually made it easy for someone with no experience to actually build a website. I wanted it to be simple. It just shows me as an individual. It shows my brand. It shows who I am and what I do. Since I do motivational speaking, life coaching, things of that nature, it has a Hire Me Now button, which is awesome. It's a flawless website. Hey, Gabe, hey, how you been, man? On? I'm good, how about yourself? I've been good, man. It's good to see you again. You have me out here in beautiful California at Lafayette Park. So what, what's so special about this place? Why come here? When I was homeless, when I was going through a lot, this is where I came to do writing, to think, clear my mind. This is where I actually sat and wrote my book in the memo section of my phone. Now you have us here at Volunteers of America Shelter. So yes. what's so special about this place? Why, why bring me over here? Volunteers of America holds a special place because I've met countless amount of individuals here that just used to come to me for simple advice. Until this day, they still thank me for treating them as an individual. As human beings, as men, I never looked down on them or anything like that. And Volunteers of America really boosted who I am as, a, as an individual and my career as a motivational speaker and life coach. Nice. Well, I appreciate that, man. It changed my life working there. That's when I really saw what my true purpose was. Everyone has their definition of what success is, but for me, being happy every day and not having to have the same worries of when I was homeless and when I was going through my trials, that's success to me. It could be real hard in the situation that we in sometimes. But no matter the situation, you can overcome that. I'm living proof of what you can do as long as you envision, believe, and obtain what you're trying to do.